I recently put out a video where I moved Lionel Messi back to his boyhood club of Newell's Old Boys, and quite a few of you wanted me to do a similar sort of thing with Cristiano Ronaldo. So how would he do back in Portugal? Let's move him back to sporting, and let's see what FIFA makes of the situation. And in order to help make this experiment as fair as possible, I won't be managing sporting, so I'll have no control over what they get up to in the transfer market. As always, keep leaving your suggestions in the comments section down below. The support on these videos recently has been absolutely insane, so thank you massively to each and every single one of you. You're all an absolute bunch of legends. If you are new to the channel though and want to see more FIFA 17 experiment videos, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And if you do go on to enjoy this video, leave it a like as well. Let's get into the experiment then and let's see how CR7 gets on back in Portugal. In Season 1, Cristiano Ronaldo made an instant impact. Sporting won the league title, they finished two points ahead of Benfica and four ahead of Porto. They lost just two games all season, scoring 73 goals in the process, with an ultimate goal difference of plus 50. It was an absolutely ridiculous season to be honest, Ronaldo was one of the top scorers, and he was also one of the very best creative players in Portugal in addition to this, providing 8 assists throughout the course of the season. And Sporting came very close to completing a domestic double. They made it all the way to the final, where they were unfortunately beaten by Porto. They lost that one 2-0. In the Champions League though, they did at least get through their group. They picked up 8 points. In the next round though, they lost 3-1 to Bayern. Whilst in the Europa League, Benfica did pretty well for themselves in making it all the way to the final, where they lost to Villarreal. Ronaldo dropped down by two ratings in this first season, moving down from a 94 to a 92. He's still one of the very best players in the world though, and with him on their team, Sporting should go on to achieve some fantastic success in the next few seasons. The second season was another impressive one for Ronaldo, as he slammed in 16 league goals finishing just ahead of his teammate Baz Dost in the scorers list. The Portuguese sensation also provided 12 assists, and it looks to have been another very successful season for Ronaldo at Sporting. Despite the solid record for Ronaldo though, Sporting slipped to third in the table, finishing behind Porto and Benfica. To be fair, that's currently exactly where they sit in reality as well, but in real life they don't have Cristiano Ronaldo at their disposal. Benfica won the Portuguese Cup in this second season, so domestic success eluded Sporting in this second season. They once again did pretty well in Europe though, and finished second in a group that contained both Manchester United and Dortmund. I'm not entirely sure how Borussia Dortmund managed to finish bottom of this group, but there you go. Ronaldo was twice beaten by his former club Manchester United, but Sporting still did enough to move through to the last 16, where they came up against Chelsea and lost 5-2. Meanwhile, in the Europa League, there was an all-English final as Liverpool beat Arsenal in a penalty shootout. Ronaldo continued to slip down the ratings in this second season, moving down to a 90 rating, with his value dropping to 49.5 million. He's still 90 plus rated, but not for long. And in the third season, Cristiano once again performed incredibly well, scoring 16 league goals throughout the course of the season. Despite having scored a good amount of goals each season, however, He's still yet to be the league's top scorer, which seems a bit strange given his class, quality and keen eye for goal. 45 league goals in 3 seasons would be a pretty good record for most players. With Ronaldo though, we maybe should be expecting more like 100 plus in this amount of time. Baz Dos provided the most assists in the league with 12, whilst Ronaldo slacked off a bit in this department, contributing just 4. And Sporting seemed to be losing further ground in this third season, and they finished up with their lowest points tally to date. Porto triumphed in the league, but in the cup they got absolutely smashed by Benfica in the final. Sporting were knocked out by Porto at the last 16 stage, and as the seasons pass by, it doesn't look like Ronaldo's going to win any more trophies back in Portugal. Sporting have previously performed pretty well in the Champions League, but even in that competition they slumped to 5 defeats in 6 games, finishing bottom of their group. Barcelona took on the might of Real Madrid in the final, without Ronaldo though, Real slipped to a 3-1 defeat. Ronaldo's rating once again took a pretty hefty knock in this third season, he fell away from a 90 down to an 87, and his value dropped to 31.5 million. He's still a fantastic player to be fair, but he's getting older and he's getting worse every season. And time is really taking its toll on Ronaldo in season 4. He dropped down to an 83 rating, didn't make the top 15 for goals or assists, 
Despite his fall from grace though, Sporting still came third in the table again. Whilst Benfica dropped all the way down to 9th position, they only got 46 points. Braja are becoming quite the force though, they came second in the league and won the cup as well. Sporting had a difficult Champions League group again, finished third, dropped down into the Europa League and didn't even make it to the last 16. Chelsea went on to win the whole thing, whilst in the Champions League, Atletico Madrid beat Schalke in the final. And in Season 5, Sporting clearly lost their faith in Cristiano, as he made just 6 league appearances all season. He dropped down by another 4 ratings, and it should really come as no surprise that he decided to call it a day. He only had 59 acceleration, 58 sprint speed, and 60 strength by this point, and his agility had dropped down to 46. Those wages aren't exactly what he's used to either. Despite Ronaldo's absence from the side for much of the season, however, Sporting moved up to second position, with only Braja finishing ahead of them in the table. They also got to the semi-final stage in the cup, where they were then beaten by the ultimate winners, Porto. And Sporting finished third in a Champions League group that contained both Real Madrid and Roma, with Manchester United going on to win the whole thing, beating PSG in the final. And after dropping down into the Europa League, Sporting once again failed to make it to the last 16. Spurs were the champions in that one, so it was a very successful season for English football. Manchester United winning the Champions League, Spurs the Europa League, not bad going. And although the original Ronaldo retired, his regen looks pretty awesome anyway. 73 rated at 17, potential to be special, 5 star weak foot, 4 star skills, amazing physical stats, and he looks like an absolute monster. And if you're sitting there wondering what a regen is, don't worry, I've got you covered on that one. I posted a video a couple of months back now, explaining what regens are and how to find them in the game. So, yeah, if you are slightly confused about the matter, link in the description. Basically, to make sure that the supply of high quality players doesn't dry up. When a high profile player retires, the game replaces them at the start of the next season, they'll have a regen. As I said before, if you're unsure about them, link in the description, and that should explain it in a bit more detail. So, that's Ronaldo's journey over and done with now then. I wanted to include a bit of gameplay for you though, so let's hop into a game against local rivals Benfica, and let's see if Ronaldo can absolutely crush them. Carvalho's on it now then, plays that through to Ronaldo. Was he onside there? I think he was. Tried to dink it and failed. Here we come once again now then. I played that forward to Joel Campbell. He's working his way down the line, crosses it over. Dangerous area. Unfortunately, nothing came of it. Benfica have won a free kick now then. They crossed that one over. Not a good ball though. Ronaldo's going to try and get there. Keeps it in play. Launches it forward to Benfica. Come on, lads. Well done. Ronaldo is still back though. He started the move, but there's no one really to be seen up top. Can we make this work? We played it through to Joel Campbell. Goes past this man. Goes for goal. Oh dear. Ronaldo's on it again now then. Plays that forward to Ryan Gould. Came on at half time. Plays it back to Ronaldo. Nice bit of play there. Ronaldo pushes his way through. Turns that around his man. Looking for support here. Moves that across the other team. Gets it back. Nice little one-two. Moving it out wide now. What am I going to do here? I'm not entirely sure. I'm looking for support. There's so many Benfica players around me and I'm just not quite sure what to do. So I lose it in the end. Great. Oh, here we go. This looks promising. Ronaldo plays that through. Come on, get a goal. No, this is rubbish. Oh, Joel Campbell's on the ball now. I'm going to try and find Ronaldo if possible. I'm played that across to Carvalho. He moves it on to Martins. Turns his man. Gonna move that through to Ronaldo, who was offside. We've got another chance now, though. Ronaldo plays that across. Can we finally get a goal? No. Come on, lads. We've got a good chance here. Joel Campbell's on the ball. Gonna cross this one over for Ronaldo's head. At least that was the plan anyway, but I completely failed. Ronaldo's on it now then. Plays that to Ryan Gould. He waits for Ronaldo. Can Ronaldo win it right at the last minute? Ronaldo's working his way through. Gonna turn that back. Goes past his man. He seemed to go through his man there, in fact. Bit of a weird one. Ronaldo's still on the ball. Goes for goal. Gets blocked. Oh, unlucky. That's going to be the last chance. So let's take it to extra time. Here comes Joel Campbell now then. We've got another chance to win it. I've crossed that one over to Ronaldo once again. And he has scored. Brilliant header there. I thought it was going over, but it just floated into the back of the net. And finally, this game has a highlight. Ronaldo's bagged himself a goal. It was a beautiful header as well. I thought it was never going to come, to be honest. I've not been enjoying playing with this team. I couldn't really get anything going. But look at this. 
brilliant header there, loops over the keeper, into the corner of the net, 1-0 to Sporting, with a goal from Ronaldo. And that was such a poor game of FIFA, I do apologise, but at least Ronaldo scored a goal. So thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video, leave it a like if you have done, and I'll catch you again next time.